As a broke college student, I often work shifts until late at night. After finishing my shifts, I sometimes stop by an ATM to pick up cash on my way home. With no lines, it was much quicker to use during those late hours than during the day. A few weeks ago, my routine was the same as always. I stopped by the ATM, checked my balance, and silently bemoaned the miserable state of my bank account. How much would you like to withdraw? Seeing the message on the luminescent blue screen, I reluctantly keyed in $100. Processing complete. Before withdrawal, would you like to complete a survey for a reward? That was odd. I had never heard of surveys being conducted over ATMs, but thought I had just made a new discovery. My finger hovered over the button adjacent to the no below the question on the screen. Before eventually pressing the button adjacent to yes, I was broke. A few minutes in exchange for a small reward wouldn't hurt. Little did I know about what would happen next. Have you had odd or strange dreams recently? Leert. I expected it to ask basic information first, like my age or gender. Maybe the bank wanted to do a survey on the general population, but to ask about dreams was just odd. After some thought, I pressed the no button. After the loading bar showed for a moment, the next question flashed across the luminescent screen. Would you like to? What? Feeling goosebumps rise in my arms, I was beginning to feel creeped out. Nonetheless, I pressed the no button again. Within an instance, bold red words flashed across the screen, creating a stark contrast against the light blue background. Do not look behind you until the survey is complete. What the hell? I reeled back slightly in shock. Almost immediately, I heard the rustling of clothes and heavy footsteps behind me. It was the first time someone else had come to use the ATM at the same time I do. I wanted to look behind me, but with the ominous message, on the ATM screen, I was too afraid to. I thought that I was being irrational, but decided to follow the instruction anyway. Are you dreaming now? I could see a shadow of someone behind me on the ground. I scoffed nervously upon reading the question and pressed the no button. Are you sure? When the message showed up, I felt the presence behind me move forwards. I could feel them breathing down the back of my neck. I moved closer to the ATM. I could feel them moving closer too. Excuse me, can you please step behind a bit? I asked meekly, still not turning to look behind me. No reply. I could still feel the person's warm breath on my neck, now feeling moist from the vapor. I held my breath and pressed the yes button. Are you really sure? The capitalized letters almost seemed to shake as they showed on the screen. I could smell the person's breath now. It was indescribably putrid, so much so that I gagged involuntarily. I was sweating all over. My heart was pounding and my chest was tightening. Every inch of my body was screaming at me to look behind me, to just turn around and cause a scene by letting my fight or flight response activate. But the previous message held me back. Do not look behind you until the survey is complete. I repeated it like a mantra in my head, restraining myself from looking behind me. I don't know how long it took for me to finally press the yes button with my trembling hands. It could have been just a few seconds, but it felt like an eternity. Thank you for completing the survey. I clutched at my chest as I watched my $100 bill come out of the ATM. Taking the bill, I slowly turned to look behind me. There was no one there. I could swear there was someone, but it was as if they had disappeared into thin air. The nearby streets were empty, and I never heard the sound of someone walking away. I stuffed the money into my bag, fleeing as quickly as I could. I didn't want to stay there any longer. The way back home was a blur, and I only remember collapsing on my bed, exhausted. The next day, I asked my friends and colleagues if they had similar experiences, but was only met with puzzled looks. Searching online yielded no results either. I chalked up my experience to a dream, ironically enough, either that or I was having hallucinations due to a lack of sleep. Whatever it was, I was still irrationally fearful of the idea of using an ATM. When I ran out of cash, I visited the bank and spoke to an actual bank teller to withdraw money. When she informed me of my balance, I was shocked to find out that there was an additional 10000 to my previous balance. I told her that there must have been some kind of mistake with the amount, and also took the opportunity to ask if the bank was running ATM surveys in the area. Again, I was met with a puzzled look. She told me that they didn't have ATM surveys and that there weren't any records of a transfer of $10,000 into my bank account recently. In fact, 
Records showed that it was the first deposit into my account after it was created. I left the bank dumbfounded. The $10,000 is still in my bank account and I don't know what to do with it. There's one more thing that I didn't mention. What haunts me the most about my experience was a sentence that flashed across the ATM screen briefly after the thank you message. We look forward to your continued participation.